What is going on guys? Your shredded brother from another mother and we are talking lower chest in today's video. Now the lower chest is one of the biggest problem areas for most guys and this is really because of two main reasons. Number one, high body fat. You have got to be at like 10 to 12% body fat to really get that lower chest line. In fact, I've been shredding really hard. I'm still at like 12% body fat right now and I just am starting to get that lower chest line. So the biggest problem besides having high body fat, and I'm not gonna talk about fat loss in today's video, it's of course important to get a defined lower chest line. I'm gonna link to all my best fat loss videos in the description below for you guys. But number two is most chest exercises just flat out do not hit any portion of the lower chest. If you're doing bench pressing, you're doing a lot of ego lifting on chest exercises, you are not hitting the lower portion of your chest. So I wanna show you in today's video, five really unique lower chest exercises that you can immediately put into your routine to activate and carve away that lower chest. So the abdominal head is gonna be the lowermost portion of the chest and the best and only way to really activate the abdominal head and that lower section of the chest is gonna be our hands have gotta be at a downward angle. So if you think about it, if you're on the incline bench press, and let's say you're incline bench pressing and you stepped away from the incline bench, your hands would be almost like in a position like this. If you stepped away from a bench press, your hands would be in a position like this. And if you stepped away from a decline bench, your hands would be more at a downward angle. That's why the decline bench is actually um, one of the best lower chest mass builders. So they actually did a study and they said that the weighted dips exercise was rated the number one exercise for mean activation in the lower chest. So obviously we all know how to do a weighted dip, but I wanna show you guys in this video five other exercises that I would say combining with the weighted dip would give you an amazing lower chest workout. And if you stick around until the very end of the video, I'm gonna in fact share with you four different complete lower chest workouts done balloon method style, incorporating the weighted dip with some of these exercises. So make sure you guys stick around until the very end of the video. So exercise number one, I call it the standing push down. And it is my favorite lower chest exercise in the whole world. If you do one thing from this video, try this exercise. So what you have to do is you have to find a machine that's basically like an assisted pull-up or assisted dip machine. And that little section where you're gonna rest your knees, if say you're doing an assisted dip, that's where you're gonna press down. So your hands are gonna be uh, in, a little bit inside shoulder width apart. You're gonna keep those elbows locked into your body. And it is a straight press down. It's the perfect angle to really focus on your lower chest. So I really like doing a mirror rep drop set, which uh, I used to call anabolic drop sets. I got a lot of hate on it. So I changed the name to mirror rep drop sets, which basically means like mirror, like eight to 10 reps until failure, drop the weight 30%, you're gonna do another eight to 10 reps until failure. So it's a great exercise to really go heavy on because it's really easy to control that weight on the assisted dip machine. So I want you guys to go two total sets, uh, do a drop set on this, dropping it 30% on the second portion. Exercise two is very unique. So what you're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need to find a cable machine where you have a left side and a right side. You're gonna place a bench right in the middle of it. And I call this the lying push-out press. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set yourself on a flat bench. You're gonna grab those weights from behind. Your hands are gonna be facing forward. You're gonna be lying straight back and you're gonna press straight out. So you're gonna have a little bit of adduction towards the center of your body. You're pressing straight out. You're going slow and controlled on the way back. You're uh, pressing straight out again. Um, definitely do not go heavy on this exercise. It is all about form. It's all about my muscle connection. It's all about really feeling the activation in your lower chest on these exercises. So with this one, I recommend a T30 set, which means 30 seconds time under tension. Exercise 
exercise number three is the standing X press. So what you're gonna do with this exercise is you're once again gonna use the cable machine. So you're gonna set up that cable machine at the top position because we're gonna go a high to low pressing movement. And with this one, you really wanna focus on adduction, which means moving towards the center of your body. So we're pressing down, and I also want you guys to try to crisscross your hands and alternate the direction every other rep. So you're pressing down, you're going right over left. You're coming back slow and controlled. You're pressing down, left over right. So once again, this is an exercise you do not want to ego lift on. You wanna focus on time under tension, slow and controlled reps. So I recommend going a T30 set, which means 30 seconds time under tension. Next up is the ISO high to low standing press. So very similar motion to the previous exercise. The big difference is we're focusing on one side at a time and we're really trying to like drive that elbow almost across our body. So you're bringing in and you're squeezing that elbow to the side of your body. So coming from high to low, you have adduction coming towards the center of your body and you're trying to tuck that elbow in towards almost like your belly button. So think about coming here and then moving that elbow towards the center of your body, almost towards your belly button, really squeezing at the bottom. I recommend a hard squeeze at the bottom of every single one of these reps. So I recommend once again, 30 seconds time under tension. These are probably the worst exercises that you would like ego lift on because you're flat out not gonna feel the activation. To really feel this one, you have to really focus on squeezing, coming down with perfect form, driving that elbow down to your side and coming across your body. So make sure you go 30 seconds on the left side, 30 seconds on the right side, and you're gonna go two total sets. So last but not least is going to be incline push-ups. So maybe not a uh, like forgotten lower chest exercise, but I don't think most people realize that it actually works your lower chest more so than your upper chest. So to actually hit the upper chest on pushups, it would be more of a decline pushup. So I know I showed you guys this in the, uh, the intro, but obviously like incline position, you wanna have a lower incline position. Like you see me in the video, you wanna almost do it off. I'd say doing it off the side of a bench would be the perfect height. This is gonna be a little bit too high. Although if it's challenging for you to do it off the side of a bench because you're a beginner, you could even do like countertops in your house or like off a couch, literally anything. But the main thing is when you move away from the push-up position, your hands should always be in a downward facing angle. So there's lots of different angles on this. Play around with the height of the incline on this, but you should definitely be going until failure on these body weight exercises. So 30 seconds, isn't enough time under tension for you and you think you can go for a minute or a minute and a half or like 150 push-ups in a row, definitely go for it because remember, hypertrophy is all about exposing your body to different elements of stress that it's never been exposed to before. So if you always just do like 20 push-ups or 30 push-ups and you can do a lot more than that, you are definitely leaving gains on the table. So challenge yourself on the incline push-up. So I know I promised you guys if you stuck around until the very end of the video, I would share with you four complete lower chest workouts done balloon method style. So here is the template of all you have to do to annihilate your lower chest and to see really fast results. I recommend you do this routine two times per week for the next month. So number one, you are going to start all of your lower chest workouts with weighted dips. I recommend you go three total sets in the eight to 12 repetition range. Next up, we are gonna do a mirror rep drop set of that first exercise I showed you guys, the standing push downs. I know you guys are gonna love it if you guys have access to this machine. I want you guys to go two total sets of the mirror rep drop sets on the standing push downs. 
Now, where I get the four different lower chest exercises from is number three. I want you to pick your favorite exercise from number two, three, four, and five. Or you could just simply rotate it for four different workouts. So I want you to end the lower chest workout with a T30 set, which means 30 seconds time under tension for two total sets. And you can pick any of the second, third, fourth, or fifth exercise I showed you in the video. So with that little template right there, you have four complete lower chest workouts. So do me a favor, uh, give this video a big like, and don't leave yet because we have the Gains Squad giveaway. So very important, um, subscribe and tap that notification bell if you are new here. So before we get into this week's Gains Squad giveaway, I wanna congratulate last video's winner, and that is Pete. Hainlin. So Pete is winning a seven serving sample tub of superhuman Hulk juice. So make sure you DM me your dress um, on Instagram at Troy Shred and we'll send that right out to you. But for today's Gain Squad giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below where you are from. I really love hearing where everybody's from watching these videos, making gains from all around the world. So comment down below where you are from, and very important to also qualify for the giveaway, you have to have that notification bell on next to you subscribe. So tap that notification bell, comment down below where you are from, and I'm gonna pick two people to win a Gaines Candy Tea Cream. So Tea Cream is actually my favorite ingredient that I pair with my pre-workout, or you can simply pair it with any source of caffeine, um, such as coffee, and what it does is it actually increases your dopamine and it extends the half-life of caffeine. So this gives you some really clean, long-lasting energy. So two people are gonna win Gaines Candy Tea Cream. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed um, last video, the Balloon Method Traps and Shoulders Workout got incredible feedback. So I'm gonna link to that over here. I'm gonna link to some fat loss videos that I promised you guys as well over here. And I will see you guys on the next video.